We all know Chloe Tang, Pamela Reeve, Matt Fit, Lily Sabri, Whitney Simmons, Natasha Oshan, etc. They've probably shown up on your homepage a multiple chunk of time begging for you to click on their video. And they without a doubt have increased in popularity ever since quarantine started. But here's the thing, we need variation, we need diversity, we need something different, we need something new. That's why this week, instead of exercising like the most popular fitness YouTubers, I decided to give the most underrated fitness YouTubers a chance in the spotlight. You heard me. The YouTubers who also upload daily workouts put their hard work into all their videos to only be seen by a small portion of people. This week, I'm gonna be following five of the most underrated fitness YouTubers for five days to not only give you more workout options, but to also determine which ones I think are the best out of the bunch. The scoring is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna be rating each workout by level of difficulty and level of enjoyment, as well as giving each YouTuber an overall score. So let's get started, I'm so excited. I am pouring in sweat. My shirt is really wet. That rhymed. I like to start off my week by doing high intensity interval training. So today I'll be doing two workouts from a new favorite fitness channel of mine, Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. They have been my go-to whenever I want to get a quick hit or ab workout. Even though they do have quite a bit of subscribers, a lot of them are inactive, which is upsetting because they give us new workouts every single day. Comment down below if you've done their workouts before, because if you haven't, then I definitely recommend you either follow along workouts to your workout schedule for the week. For a level of difficulty, I'm going to rate them a 7 out of 10. 10. Their workouts are definitely far from easy, but with that being said, they're also not super challenging. Their workouts consist of four rounds, each with 30 seconds on and 10 seconds off. They also give us modifications to each exercise, which is really great. I would label most of their workouts as beginner to intermediate, but to be honest, they have so many different workouts to choose from, and in reality, anyone can do them and still feel sweaty and accomplished at the end. For a level of enjoyment, I'm going to rate them a 9 out of 10. One of the main reasons as to why I continue following them is 1. I think both of them are honestly so adorable. I don't know any other workout channel that is owned and represented by both a man and woman. It really does show diversity, which I love. Another reason as to why it's one of my favorites is because I genuinely enjoy doing the workouts, mostly because of their choice of music and simplicity. The reason I didn't give them a 10, however, is because the exercises are repeated quite a bit, and if you guys know me, then you would know repetition is my enemy. I get bored of exercises really quickly and I need there to be variety. For the overall score, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. Let's move on to the next underrated fitness YouTuber. Day two was all about the booty and I decided to follow Caroline Gervin's body weight and dumbbell 45 minute lower body workout. One word to describe Caroline, freaking advanced. Well, that's two words, but literally, if you're looking for merely an advanced, intense fitness channel, then Caroline should be your first option. For a level of difficulty, I'm gonna give her a 10 out of 10. While I didn't really find this specific workout extremely challenging, mostly all her videos revolve around intense and unique moves. So I'm still gonna give her a high score because because I've been doing her workouts for a while now and I still managed to walk away, more so crawl away with a sore body at the end. But hey, despite having so many strenuous workouts, her channel is exclusive to anyone as she does post beginner friendly workouts as well. For a level of enjoyment, I'm gonna rate her an eight out of 10. The music is really good and overall, she's a really knowledgeable source when it comes to nutrition and fitness. She literally looks like a character from a Marvel movie, genuinely inspires me to continue with fitness and eating healthy because her physique is so unbelievable. For overall score, I'm going to rate her a 9 out of 10, or a 9. Let's move on to day number 3. Abs and arms are next, and I decided to follow Sammy Clark's upper body and flat belly toning workouts. Now, Sammy's workouts are probably the easiest out of all the other YouTubers I mentioned, so if you're looking for a quick light workout to do, then I will recommend her channel for that, but when it comes to intensity, there are other workout channels out there. 
For a level of difficulty, I'm gonna give her a 3 out of 10. Again, as I mentioned, super easy workouts. I did not feel one drop of sweat run down my forehead. And I know sweat doesn't really determine if you've had a good workout or not, but I wasn't even exhausted at the end. For a level of enjoyment, I'm gonna give her a 5 out of 10. All the moves were pretty boring, the pace was very slow, and I wasn't really working to my full potential. I would probably do her workouts on an active recovery day or when I don't really feel like working out but I still somehow want to keep active. The music was really good though and it's the one thing that got me to stay. So for overall score, I'm gonna give her a 4. Let's move on to underrated fitness YouTuber number 4. This next YouTuber is probably the most underrated fitness YouTuber on this list. I don't understand why she doesn't even have 100,000 subscribers yet. It's the one and only Anna, also known as Growing Ananas, translated to Growing Pineapple. I don't even know how to express how much I freaking love her. She's to me as Lily Sabri's to Linda's son. Love for the first time. I just wanna love something about me. How does she do this? I don't know how she does handstands like that. I found my love for home workouts through her and even though she doesn't know this, she changed my whole perspective when it comes to working out at home. At the beginning of quarantine, I felt stuck and hit a plateau with fitness because I thought I wouldn't be able to commit to working out in my room. But after discovering her channel, I don't feel as reliant to the gym anymore and could probably stick to at-home workouts for the rest of my life. Probably not, but you guys get my point. I'm gonna tell you this and I'm gonna keep telling you this. She is the queen of HIT. So if you're in search of high intensity interval training ASAP, check out her channel right now. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. For a level of difficulty, I have to give her a nine out of 10. Even though this particular workout had a lot less jumping and cardio, I was still sweating after just 10 minutes. And not gonna lie, this workout was the first that got me exhausted this week. There's really nothing to say here. There are no words to describe how great I feel at the end. I also really loved how she adds weights to many of her follow along videos. Not only are you getting in a good cardio sesh, but you're also building muscle and that toned physique at the same time. You're really getting the best of both worlds. For a level of enjoyment, of course, a 10 out of 10. Even though I've been doing them for a long time, her moves are still unexpected and make me so happy. The music she uses is so great, and although she doesn't talk during her workouts, I still feel really encouraged. Just watching her do an exercise for 50 seconds straight without stopping is impressive. Whew. Okay guys, so that was the workout. That was so intense. You don't need lots of jumps, you don't need lots of cardio for it to be intense. So, see you guys for the last day. So for overall score, I'm giving her a 9.5. Let's move on to, sadly, the last day. I like to end my week with a crazy hit workout, so I decided to do Healthy Fit with T's 40 minute, no repeat, hit, fun music, and no weights, fat burning, strength, and cardio workout. Yeah, that's the title, it just catches my attention right away. I love workouts with no repeat and fun music, so you bet I clicked on this video when I saw it on my homepage. Now, she is the one fitness YouTuber I'm doing workouts from for the first time. The other underrated YouTubers I showed you guys were new to me, I've been following them for a while but with ty she is someone i discovered just recently and i thought it'd be a good idea to test her out since she seems to have lots of great workouts so for a level of difficulty i'm gonna rate this 40 minute no repeat hit an 8 out of 10 as you will see i started slowing down a little bit at the end because of how drained i was but as difficult as it was i think it's still beginner friendly since she does give us modifications for each exercise and she also gives us a 60 second water break halfway which is definitely much needed overall I was super sweaty, exhausted, and happy, a combination that makes this workout so great. For a level of enjoyment, I'm gonna give her a 9 out of 10. There were no repeats at all and fun music on top of that. It can't get any better. Whew. You guys, I'm on a water break right now. And oh my gosh, I'm already sweating like crazy. All the moves were actually so creative and I love how she added a twist to almost every single exercise. It was for sure fun to do and the title was not clickbait. Everything she said, we got. She also said you can burn three to 500 calories, which is a lot. For overall score, I'm gonna give her an 8.5 out of 10 or just an 8.5. <laughs> 
So yeah, that was the last and final workout. Okay, you guys, the results are in and it's time to determine which one I think is the best fitness YouTuber out of all of these. Now you guys, I genuinely had a really hard time choosing one because all of the ratings were so close. All these YouTubers, they are so dedicated and inspiring young women who are really making a difference in one or more people's lives. But of course, I have to choose a winner and the winner is, drum roll please, Anna. <laughs> You guys probably guessed it already by the over-the-top commentary I gave for her, but she is probably the one who got me the most sweaty and the most out of breath, and I definitely recommend you guys go and subscribe to her right now. I recommend you guys actually go subscribe to everyone that I mentioned because all of these YouTubers, they are putting so much hard work into their videos and they deserve so much more recognition than they are receiving for all the amazing content they are producing. So definitely check them out. Okay guys, that about wraps up today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And hopefully after this video, you'll leave with some more follow along workouts to add to your fitness schedule. And comment down below which fitness YouTuber you found the most enjoyable and difficult. I'd love to know. So yeah. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. We are so close to a thousand subscribers, which is so great. I cannot thank you guys enough. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.